Uh, but yeah, thank you again, Bria, for joining this live. And yeah, I will so talk to you soon. We'll hop on a call or something after this. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Be All safe. Right. Bye. All right, guys, that was my good friend, Bria. Guys, we are at $335, 17 donations, $335. Keep on donating. Again, 100% of the persons are going to be going to the Equal Justice Initiative. And we are going to be adding Tony Lopez onto this, <laughs> onto this um, call. So, or I guess live is Tony in here. Let's make sure that he is prepared because I don't want to end this live. Just have to get him to request. We're gonna give him a second. There's so many people in this live that like it's trying to catch up with everyone that's in here. All right, Tony, if you're in here, could you go ahead and comment so I can guest you? Because trying to look for your name right now is going to be a hassle. Oh, here he is. All right, guys. So Tony Lopez, I'm gonna be adding him right now. Yeah, I'm excited for this. I know you guys have been waiting for this. Um, so here we go. Tell me. Hey. What is up, friend? My connection, my connection is so bad. Hold on, let me head it. Let me head inside because my connection is poor right now. Let me head inside. Okay. My connection is so shit. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm so look. I just want to say first of all, before we even start sp speaking on anything, I want to say I'm genuinely mm -hmm. proud of you and so happy that you are doing this. Like. I feel like a lot of people need to see this and especially unity and people coming together. I'm just so, I'm so happy to call you my friend genuinely, first of all, because you inspired me to literally get on this and educate myself about this whole situation. And I'm honestly, yeah. without you, without you just even coming to me and DMing me and be like, hey, let's talk. I don't think I would be as educated as I am now on this whole movement. But since right. you reached out to me and you want, you, I feel like you wanted to see me do something you know you feel like i did you, i really did and it, it, it helped like it helped. it genuinely helped me like i was like you know what i need to do something right i can't sit here and act like because obviously you 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 uh made the sick talk about me uh, what i first said you know like mm -hmm. and it wasn't as impactful i'm not gonna lie it wasn't so when when i saw your tiktoks and you and tyshawn say what you said a lot of people might have taken it as like oh they're just coming for him no 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 but I looked at it and I, I try to understand your guys' frustration as much as I can. And I was like, you know what? If I am going to say something about this, I do got to come with passion. I do got to inspire. I can't just say little words and think saying this bare minimum shit is going to affect somebody, you know? Oh, like, man. they're looking at, like, I see what you mean. And I, I understood you solely, like, right off the bat. And I was like, I feel like other creators might have would have taken it and been like, oh, they're just coming for me. Mm -hmm. Fuck them. No, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I looked at it like, no, you're genuinely trying, you're, you're, you're passionate about this. You want to see change. You want to, you want people to be on this and about it, not just right, like right. Saying some shit here and there. No like, half ass shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's another Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter movement and it's going to go away. Like this is something that's going to, this is something that's going to last forever. This ain't, this is not coming today and gone tomorrow. Right. I, this is something that's going to, we need change. And I, I feel you hundred percent and I'm so proud of you. I'm happy for you. And I just want to thank you for real. Thank you. Of course, of course. Wow. You gave me a little speech. You gave me a little speech. Y'all yeah, gave us a speech. Um, again, I want to remind you guys that we are live. We have 6,000 people in here. And right now, all of the donations that are going to be given to us, 100% are going to the Equal Justice Initiative. Uh, so go ahead and donate anything you guys can. We've gotten 19 so far. So thank you again for donating. Again, we're not getting anything. It's all going to the initiative. So... Everybody on here, donate as much as you can. Even if it's a dollar, like, that's 6,000 people donating a dollar. That's six. Right. $6. That's something. Imagine. So, everyone, let's, let's go for a dollar, two dollars, just to try to get that. Something um, So, yeah. So, I know, obviously, a lot of people are, like, what, like, you know, what's going on? Because people have been, like, oh, my God, Tony, Tony, Tony. And I'm, like, listen. So, I want to kind of talk about what happened, how we got to this, you know, how we got to where we are right now. So, basically... <laughs> I know, I mean, this happened last week and I saw a lot of different influencers, um, you know, I maybe posting about it or just like kind of acting like it wasn't there. And I saw Tony and mm -hmm. Tony, some of you guys might not know, but I have been following Tony for a long time and him and his brother, their dancing is awesome. I'm a dancer. 
Y'all know I like Ariana. So I was like, okay, I got two boys right here. Me and them can be dancing to some cool shit. So, but I just was like, you know, when you see someone that's a big influencer and seeing them not speak up on something that matters to you, it will affect you. And that's where I was coming from. I was like, here's Tony, who I really, you know, I admired and stuff. And he wasn't really saying anything. And then when he did speak, it was, you know, say the black fist. And I feel like, right. you know, some influencers, they they feel like that, that you know, they didn't know how serious this was. And they didn't right. know, like, where where a lot of people were coming from. So when I made my video, I it was in passion. I was like, girl, I was like, come on, tell me, really, I'm yeah. like this. Like, do you want to see, I want to see you speak. And it wasn't just, you were just the one that I reached out to or, you know, called on because I was like, you were the one that did it. And it was like, you did it, but I want to see more. There's plenty of influencers that have still not said anything at mm -hmm. all. I know. And it's, it's crazy to me because it's like, I know people are scared, which is what we're going to get to as well. We're going to talk, you know, back and forth. But people are scared to talk about this because they don't want to get backlash. They don't say the wrong thing. Mm. And I think it's important to, I mean, it's a privilege to only have to look it up. If, you know, you right. only have to look up right. what, what's going on and learn about it. But you, like, your, your Black followers and me and these Black people just have to live it every day. This is something That's that we're living. So I just was like, you know, I want to see better. I want to see Tony do something besides this. And then I saw Andreas was like, hey, guys, I know I'm an influencer. And I know I want to speak about this. Let me know what mm -hmm. I need to do. And mm -hmm. I think that's what I want to see from a lot of people. It's right. okay if you don't know everything. It's okay if you are scared to say the wrong thing. If you're mm -hmm. scared to say the wrong thing, imagine how scary it is living this every day. This is my <laughs> life. And this yep. is your experience, or yep. this is your, you're watching it from a, you know, yep. from a room. You have the privilege of turning it off. You have the privilege of ignoring it, whereas yep. I live it. And I feel like I know, when I saw your videos, I was like, he looks like he cares. He just doesn't know how to articulate it. Exactly. And I know That's a lot of people, you know, initially, like, you had to read out. You're like, come on, guys. Like, don't, no violence, no violence. And that comes out of a good place. You're like, you know, you know mm -hmm. peacefully protest. And it was like, it's confusing because people don't know all the information. They don't know that there's the, the protesters, there's the looters, there's the rioters, and you were coming mm -hmm. from a good place. But that was that's an example of influencers saying the wrong thing. But mm -hmm. look what happened. I reached out to you. I, you know, educated you on what was going on and told you to go and educate yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's what you did. And mm -hmm. that's what I want to see. Like, I want to mm -hmm. see influencers taking the time to be like, hey, I might not know everything. But I know I have black followers. I know there right. are black boys and girls that are following me that are helping me live the way I'm able to live. And mm. if I don't speak up about this, then that you're basically saying that it, it doesn't matter, that, that this person doesn't matter, this movement doesn't matter. And it's making a lot of people show their true colors. And the fact that you it's were showing, it's, to... it's showing their, their true privilege. It's showing them that it's not affecting them. So they feel like they don't got to say nothing, you know? Okay. They feel like... The people will fight. This is, I feel like this is their mentality. Their mentality is the people are going to fight the fight. Let them fight the fight. We can just, you know, it'll, it'll come today. It'll be gone next week. And we'll be back to normal. That's the mentality right. of the people, you know? And I feel like a lot of people haven't said nothing because, for example, for me, I tried to say something and I got a lot of backlash for it. So let me be the example of, like, some of the influences that haven't said nothing because I feel like they might have seen some of these influencers, including me, say something and get shit for it because they're not of color, you know? And it's mm -hmm. like, I, I get it. People see me as this image of this pretty boy, white boy that sometimes po posts corny content. Like, what is he going to say mm -hmm. when he says something? What, what, what does he know about this? You know what I'm saying? But people don't, people forget, like, I, I have a brain like you do. I got a heart like you do. I got feelings like you do. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I feel for the situation. I just wasn't as educated as I am now, you know, yeah. and I said it meaning like genuinely in my heart, I hate, I hate to see this. You know, I grew up, I grew up like 2012 on Facebook, seeing the whole the Trayvon Martin stuff. Yeah. And I remember, I remember like literally in middle school in seventh grade, I was sitting there and in class and kids brought Skittles and a hoodie to class because that was their way of protesting. Right. And I remember growing I up. I remember and, that. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> It's sad though, like it's it's bad that we have to live through this shit again. Like this is twenty, that was twenty twelve. Let alone Martin Luther King existed fifty years ago. Let alone half a hundred years later, and we're still going through the same anger, the same fear, the same. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. we as people can, and even as influencers, got to understand that we have to position the position to 
tell these people that watch us and inform them so then they can they're going to look up to us and be like you know what if they're doing that and if they're calling for action like that then maybe i should too you know if my favorite influencer my favorite um entertainer is calling for action i probably should too you know and like yeah. i feel like a lot of them are just scared because for example me getting backlash they don't want that same shit but here's the thing is a lot of people, uh, I mean, there is there is a right or wrong thing. I guess there is a right or wrong thing to say when you're speaking about it. But if you're going to say something, at least say something, you know? Something. As, long as, something. Your, as long as you're saying something and putting your energy and time into it, it's a start. You know, you're yeah, a start. I, I feel like it's, it's not difficult to come on camera. It's like, I know people are like, oh, I don't want to say the wrong thing. But it's like, mm. it's so simple. It's literally... George Floyd was killed at the hands of police for no reason mm -hmm. at all. His life was lost for no reason. Let's say something. Let's do something and get justice for him. Mm -hmm. Boom. There goes exactly. a 10 second video. You mm -hmm. talk your followers. Hey guys, I have a link in my Informing bio. Informing what topic. happened. Exactly. And, you know, exactly. go ahead and sign this petition. Link to my bio. If mm -hmm. you can post about your new merch or your YouTube video or your new Instagram oh. picture or this and that. You, you can post. Demo, you yes. Can come you can on post here about you can post about real world, real life shit that's going on. That's literally this is this is a change of civilized. This is a change of society. This isn't no money move. This isn't no propaganda. No, right. let me make my image look good. This is a change in the real motherfucking world. When we die, we need love and positivity. Not the money don't go with us. Right. The houses don't go with us. The cars don't go with us. It's the people we're with. The people we're around, that goes with us. Right, you know? and you want to surround yourself with people you gotta, that yeah. are. You got to know that this this is real, mother. This is life. This is real life. I know people see it on their phone. They might see it as just another incident that happened, or they they look at it as if like it's a video game. Like, oh my god, these cops are so bad. And no. then or oh, you know, because the media likes to paint paint this narrative. And plus, I'm about to say something about this too. Go ahead, go. Af the, a lot of black people were rioting and they're burning shit down and they're making, you know, they're causing destruction. Here's my thing. You know, I saw a video where there was three white individuals that lit a car on fire. White individuals lit the car on fire with masks so you couldn't see their face, but you can clearly see their hands. They are white. Mm -hmm. They lit this cop car on fire, but when the media took a picture of it, they took a picture of the black individuals that were throwing stuff at the car. And I was like, hmm. That part. Very interesting. You that know what I'm saying? Part. It's very interesting how people paint this narrative of individuals and like us as influencers, we get the bad. Or sometimes we do get the bad hand. We do get the bad stick of like what people paint about us. You know what I'm saying? But they don't understand. Like if you educate yourself, if you do the research, you will realize why people are so passionate and why this needs to change and not not like, oh, why is everyone so mad? You know, like, people do have rights. People do have equality. Do your research. Does it look like it? Right. It look, Call this, me fucking Lopez. Call me. <laughs> serious. Like, if people had equality, then why is this going on? Right. Why did a man literally die, suffocated? Why did a man get murdered? It's because of his skin color, motherfucker. Don't, there's no other fucking reason. You can't tell me no other fucking reason. Right. If you look at the pictures, if you do the, you know, and here's the thing is people, people look at that video, right? And their narrative is, what did George Floyd do to make that dude, that cop that mad? Well, Change that motherfucking mindset. What did the cop do? Why is the cop doing this? You know what I'm saying? Why Why is, there is no way, and I don't think in any cop training where they are trained to kneel on someone's fucking neck for that long, let yeah. alone, you know what I'm saying? And like, you can't look at that video and be like, what did George Floyd do to deserve that? No, what are the fucking, what is in the cop's mind, right mind, to think that's okay to do that? You exactly. know what I'm saying? So a lot of people just need to change their perspective because it's what the media paint. <laughs> They, My friend just walked up and he said, he better talk that motherfucking shit. He better tell the shit. It's, <laughs> My it's what the media, laughing. <laughs> it's, what the media, it's what the media paints, man. It's just like they try to paint this image as like the African-American culture, these like bad people or some shit. And then it makes the, the people at home look at them like, oh, they're just being bad. They're just being, you know, and it's not, bro. You need to change your fucking mindset. That's what it is. I want to say something. This, y'all, so... I, I just literally, hearing Tony say this means a lot because this is what I wanted to see from him and this is what I want to see from other influencers because there are so many influencers at the top. If I was in the same place as Tony or 
some of these other influencers that had the power. Obviously, I'd be speaking, but I know a lot of them are afraid. But when you have this power, when you have this influence, you mm -hmm. can get hundreds and thousands of likes, millions of likes, and something mm -hmm. happens and you have the power to change that. That's what an influencer is. Like, that's what it is. And for you to literally me have this conversation, like I mean, I called you out, I confronted you, we talked, mm. you took the time, this is you, you took the time to educate yourself on this. This is something that you felt passionate about and you did it. And you are inspiring your followers to do mm. something about that. You're inspiring your followers to say, hey, you know what? Tony's out here speaking up about it. It doesn't even affect him, but he, obviously he's so passionate about it. So why am I not doing the same thing? Mm -hmm. And if, mm -hmm. if you can do it, imagine if everybody else did the same thing and mm -hmm. what see, instead of people being afraid to speak out because they don't want to get backlash, the worst thing to get is backlash. You're not going to get canceled. Of course, you ain't about to have someone raid your house and be like, fuck you. The worst you're going to get is a couple people be like, oh, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Correct yourself, come right, learn a little bit. Learn a little bit. Say what you know, say what you can. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. the more, more people speak about it, the more people are going to talk about it. And the more people talk about it, the more people are going to be acknowledge that this situation is going on. You know, if we ignore it and we're just like, oh, just another movement, just another protest, then it's, that's all it's going to be is just another protest. And we can't go, through, how many more just another protest are we going to go through to find, until we finally get a change? Right. It's you just, this, yo. <laughs> look at that, look, 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 look at how he's talking. I'm so, now this is dope. I, I, lo I love to see because, because my thing was, I was like, I'm seeing a lot of influencers post, repost a story or post a black square and then that's it. And it's like, why are they getting so much praise for doing yes, the absolute you, bare minimum? You, you, all week. What are you going to do, mute yourself more? Mm -hmm. Like, just mute all fucking week. Right, like, it's like, it ain't going nowhere, so what you going to do? You going to be silent for, for how long? Come on. I, it, some people at the house like i've been just speaking about it passionately every day like i don't know if anybody's in here but i was like look i told some of them i'm like and they they i'm not gonna lie they got influenced because i i literally was sitting here like you know this is important like y'all need to start posting you guys need to say something like watch the videos like i was texting in the group chat like hey make sure you guys are actually posting about these fundraisers don't be selfish like you know what i'm saying and it took them two days and then guess what? Guess what they decided to do? They decided to make merch where 100% of the proceeds are going to a donation. I saw that. I saw that. I told them, you know, I mm -hmm. I influenced the right thing. I told them, hey, I told them on Monday. Oh, I told them on, I think it was Monday. I was like Wednesday. I'm going to the protest. Mm -hmm. Guys, I highly, highly, highly encourage you guys to come with. Don't bring no phones. Don't try to take no videos, no photos. And if you do take a video or photo, just show that you're there. Just boom. Show that you're there. That's boom. All I'm, all I'm That's saying. Because, see, this is the thing. See, Tony gets it. One thing that is frustrating is to see influencers do this for a photo op or for to show. Oh, it's not for I, show. If you're doing it for show, I don't go. I know there's a lot of motherfuckers that took this as PR. They try to make it look, I'm going to look like a good guy and a good right. person. Fine. Bitch, you wasn't even at the protest. He was on the corner with the photographer taking a right, picture. Right, right, like, right. You can't. You we, don't can't. Wanna, we don't want it. We want to see people that care. Like, if, for, if people could be as passionate as you are about it, then that's literally what it would change so much and it doesn't take a lot it literally takes doesn't. a day we're all on quarantine where are you going it, like you're doing out you literally sit on your house watching netflix you can watch a netflix film about black lives matter in these movements there's a bunch of netflix films that educate you on this movement and i watched like two of them and i'm not gonna lie they they are powerful i'm not yeah, like they're emotional it, 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 it literally changes your perspective like yeah. watching this I'll, this is a good example great example of like what's going on in our, our society I was watching this movie where there was a bunch of uh, African-American individuals, just some kids, regular kids from school, actually really smart, really educated kids, right? And they were walking down and after school, it was like midnight or whatever, and they're just walking down this bridge. And under the bridge, there was a couple other African-American individuals that were committing a crime, right? And they were, I guess they raped a girl or something, and they beat her and almost beat her to death. And these kids looked and saw this happening. They're like, oh shit, what the fuck's going on? And then the cop, they heard cop sirens pulling up, like, up the street. So these kids fled the scene. And they were running because they feared for their life because right. cops were up. They're in the situation. They don't know if they're going to get, like, you know, questioned and be like, what the fuck are you doing here? Get on the floor. So mm -hmm. they ran to protect themselves. Guess what the cops did? They chased after the kids that were mm -hmm. running tunnels under the bridge because they were black. And mm -hmm. there was a bunch of black cops. And they're like, oh, get on the floor, da 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 da, da right? And these, these, these interviewers took them and literally believed that they were the ones that did it. They were making situations up saying, no, they were the ones that raped this girl. They were the ones that raped this girl. These kids had no clue what the fuck was going on. They're like, what are you right. talking about? 
bro. Like we were just taking a hike. We were just walking. And like, that's, that's the image that our society and justice system plays. They do. They, they judge, they base it off of the skin color. Oh, there's black individuals that, you know, did this. Okay. Whatever black individual we can find, let's take them and question them. Literally. But like, really? And that, that's the point of the movement. The, that, that's why everyone is like, police, although there's good cop, bad cop, whatever, like the police force, first of all, I don't know if you knew this, but I educated myself on this. The police mm. force was created three years after the first slaves were freed. It was made, it was called the Slave Patrol, and they were out there to protect white people and white property. So the police force wow. literally, yeah, it's, it's, it's wow. made to protect white people against black people because they were scared that we we're going to come back for revenge. That's literally what it was made for. And that's what people need to uh, on. That is... That's powerful. That yeah. I didn't know that that was even a wow. I found that out like two days ago. Hey, see everybody in these everybody watching this. If y'all didn't know that, let that, know. let that let that fucking hit you. Just that right there, because that I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so we're we're gonna go into some questions, and also we're at seven hundred and seven dollars. I would I would like I want to get to as close to one thousand as we can. So if anyone else who hasn't donated, donate. <laughs> Um, so, uh, one question is, um, do, 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 do. I mean, we kind of went over this, but like, uh, honest opinion on people who haven't said anything because they feel they will be targeted. Mm -hmm. What was it? The connection's bad. Though. What'd you say? Okay. It, it said, uh, the question was honest opinion. What's your honest opinion on people who haven't said anything because they feel like they will be targeted? Okay. So first things first, I think. Just say something, bro. Just make notice to this. Don't don't sit at home watching it from a distance, hoping that it's going to fade away in a couple of days where we can go back to normal. You can go back to sh posting your content. Say something. Just say something. I don't care what it is. Say something promoting that you are with the people and that you want change. No, Make note that you want change. Voice that you want change. Show that you want change. Not that you are allowing this to happen no more. Put your fucking foot down. Pick up your fucking camera and say something. That's all. Right. Because I, I feel like we had, we had this conversation when we were on FaceTime. Y'all, we had a good conversation. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we like, telling this X, Y, Z. But we, we talked about basically, like, me and Tony felt the same. I mean, I this is affecting me. And I was like, when I found this out about George and I saw the protest, I literally could not create content. Like, it, mm -hmm. this is our job. This is our livelihood. I couldn't create content. I didn't feel right. I didn't feel right at all. Like, it was, I hurt, I felt hurt. I couldn't sleep. I literally couldn't sleep because I was going on TikTok seeing these devastating videos and these devastating things. And I'm like, man, this is really going on down the street. Helicopters flying. Literally, I'm on Hollywood. So like helicopters, not even two minutes away. And I'm like, this is real fucking life. It's not no video game. Like I can't sleep. I couldn't sleep because of it. It was. Yeah, it's, it's rough. And I think that's where like, I think. That, that, that's why it's interesting like seeing influencers be completely silent or just post a black square and then wait for this to go away like i promise y'all this shouldn't go nowhere and oh, no way. Like, <laughs> hey, look look 50 50 years ago martin luther king was preaching the same thing it ain't going nowhere ain't we going nowhere and hopefully this like this will change a lot of things but this conversation needs to continue because tony was i know he was like i want to see change like what can we do how do we do this as influencers that have power have this conversation with your followers, have this conversation with your friends, with your family, and, and tell your, your, like your followers to, to do something, incite them to donate, to sign petitions, do anything you can to get money and funds out to, you know, these, these people that need it. Um, so yeah, let's see. Um, is it important as an influencer to hold peers accountable for not doing enough? I Absolutely. mean, I, I would Absolutely. say for sure, because mm -hmm. I did it for you. You held me accountable, you held me accountable. <laughs> <laughs> look look a lot of people and like i'm not gonna lie i sat there and i watched the videos and i was like okay try it, tony don't think they're coming at you don't think they're coming for you i know because it was public you got what you guys said was public and like people might have misinterpreted that and thought like oh they're trying to get them canceled they're trying to cancel tony and andre then 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 but i was like just just understand their perspective i was like i sat there and as a human to human i had to understand your perspective i'm not going to come at you with hate if you are coming at me with this aggression, there must be something that I am doing wrong. You know what I'm saying? And I sat there and I was like, I got to understand them. I can't just sit here and be like, oh, they're just trying to come at me. They're just trying to come for me. I was like, no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm, let's erase that mindset. Let's, let's hopefully, hopefully you guys contact me or I can contact you. And thank God you DM me and we were I able did. to. 
discuss this and it was, make it sure. was after I saw a video and I saw you and I was like, he looks emotional and he looks mm -hmm. like he like I was listening to him. I'm like, you see, you like really fucking care and you want mm -hmm. to see something change, but mm -hmm. you just were having a hard time articulating it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I really have to I have to be like, listen, Tony, I know this is emotional, but you know, get your shit together. This is serious mm -hmm. shit. You have a, a platform, you gotta use it. And it's it's okay to get emotional, but it's it's you have to if you're gonna be emotional, speak like speak the fact. It's say what's happening. Like, like, say his name. Mm. Say what happened, and mm. it's gonna affect people, and it's gonna mm. affect you. But it's gonna have a good impact in the long run. Mm -hmm. so. Absolutely, and oh. I think like you Sorry, inspired. Please. Oh, we hit the thousand. We hit the thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. That's so dope. Oh That's my god. Awesome. Thank you guys. Oh my gosh, That's you guys are crazy. amazing. Literally. Oh my god. No, um, let me see. There's one more question. Oh yeah, someone said, tell Tony to never stop spreading awareness and to ignore the haters. Oh look, every I just want to say everybody on here, I love you guys. Thank you for coming on here. Like I know some people, let's just address this now. Some people probably got on here waiting for me to say something wrong, waiting for me yeah. to say <laughs> So let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. That's that's not proving my character. That's proving your character. For you people that are watching, waiting for me to say something wrong, that just proves that you judge people off of what you think and not what you know. You know what I'm saying? So first of all, correct your mindset. That's what this whole thing is about. Correct your mindset. Educate yourself. Get some knowledge on the people, on the things that are going on before you speak upon them. Yep. Period. Please. Period. Period. I think so, that is... I think that's it. You pretty much answered everything. Um, yeah, that's. I mean, we we can stay on here and just keep talking because we we raising money right now. We right, raising... yeah, we are receiving. Thirteen hundred dollars. Thirteen hundred dollars. Let me just say, let me just spread some positivity and tell you, you look good with the makeup. You look, you are slaying like a motherfucker. Go off. Thank you. <laughs> no, you just wait, just wait because when I get my ass to LA, I'm bringing my thigh. Oh yeah. And we're making a video. Oh, 100%. Yes, we have to. We're going to shut shit down. <laughs> I literally, We're going to shut shit down. I've been wanting to do, because Ariana Grande has her two backup dances, and I'm like, I need some. I need two guys, teach them choreography real quick, do some cool shit. Oh, and less. So, oh, we're gonna, oh, say less. Oh, my God. But, yeah. I'm not coming out here. Um, I don't know. Maybe, I mean, it's, it's June. We just hit June. I'm hoping in July, because it looks like things are getting, like, things are lifting really fast. Here's my thing. You know what it is? I don't, I don't know. They kind of fishy about this whole corona shit. I know, right? It's like, what's going on? Like, it's, no, it's they kind of fishy. Honest, how I've been at home. And where the corona at now? Right. You tell me right now. We posted corona. Right. Okay, I'll wait. Right. They said, you know what they said? You know what they said after all these protests? It's what? loading. You know what they said about after all these protests? They said, good news. We're in phase three of the vaccines. We're looking, uh, you know, uh, positive outlook. I'm like, didn't y'all say it's gonna take like a year? A year? Mm -hmm. I guess. I guess now. I guess now that people went against the went against the grain, things are looking better. You know looking what I'm saying? Better. They were trying to keep us in. We said, "Hell no, Black Lives Matter." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I think we're probably my connection's so there. shitty. Sorry. My connection's so shitty. It's like, look, okay, go ahead. No, you're good. Um. I think we're probably going to be out there in maybe July because we were like, oh, no, like, we know what's going on. Tashawn is in Florida right now for his sister's birthday, so we're scared about flying. Mm. But right now, it seems like mm. everyone's protesting. Everyone is, like, out and about and, you know, not, not that yeah. it's, like, I'll go party and shit, but, like, now it's, like, you know, mm -hmm. we've all been quarantined for so long. I feel like, I feel like look, I feel like, yourself, honestly, I, I feel like you can make your way out here. Like, a lot of people have, like, like, once again, once again, we're not promoting everybody coming out and partying. So mm -hmm. please quarantine. Please stay safe. You know, there's still stuff going on. We don't know the truth of what's going on. Just be safe but rather than be sorry. So first of all, let's get that clear. We're not promoting everybody coming yeah, out to not, the we're club. Not and everybody and we're no, we're, no, we're not. We're promoting Black Lives We're just Black saying <laughs> if it's safe. If it, what we're saying is if it's safe, she's going to come out here and collab. That's all there is. Right, saying. right, yeah. No, I definitely mean we were. Our plan was to be out there um, in LA for most of the summer anyway. We we're ready for VidCon. I finally got invited mm -hmm. for the first time as a creator. That shit got canceled. Mm -hmm. And then Coachella was going to happen. That shit got canceled. So it's like, I mean, either way, we're going to be out there. We have friends that did are you, out there. Did you go to Playlist? And... Yeah. I think I, I, saw so you, bad. I saw you. You were with. 
you were with everybody like kind of by the window i was back in the like the creator area mm -hmm. but you guys were busy and i was nervous mm -hmm. i was like oh my gosh all of them over there i ain't gonna bother them so i was just doing my boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> no you gotta you should have came up and be like hey tony <laughs> i'm here yeah no that was it was the last day i think that we went in there um but literally right mm -hmm. when i noticed you guys were there you guys were getting ready to leave so I was like, well, I'm, mm -hmm. I'll see them at VidCon probably because I think, were you guys going to be going to VidCon? My connection is so... Oh, Tony's connected. So bad. Tony on that McDonald's Wi-Fi. Hold on. But, hold on. It's loading. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Ooh, this connection is so bad. <laughs> can you hear me? Yeah, go, go back to where you were at. I can hear you where you were at before. Okay, I'm about I'm about to sit down. Okay, yeah, that's so much better already. We good? Yeah, I was like, Tony got that okay, okay, okay. Wi-Fi. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, we are at thirteen hundred dollars, oh and again, all of these proceeds are going hey. to the Equal Justice Initiative. I'm so excited to like do this. I didn't even know that this could. So this is another thing that influencers can do. When influencers go live, you can choose a fundraiser, you know, and it's literally yeah. right there. The popular ones are are right there. You can just sit here. Go live and people can donate. <laughs> Tony said, yo, his Wi Fi. Can, uh, can you hear me good? Hello. Hello. Damn, I, got, I literally got the McDonald's Wi Fi right now. This shit isn't bad. <laughs> you really do. Oh my God. Well, okay. So, I mean, we Hello. Got almost 1400 can Hello. You hear me? Can you hear me no, now? It's, it's loading so bad. Like, it's like, I can hear you a little bit, but like it's scratchy. Let's wait a minute. Hold on, wait. It's loading. Let me just. I don't know. I don't want to disconnect from the Wi-Fi. Hold on. Let me. Let me step outside. Maybe it might. It might fix if I step outside. I know. I, I can hear you now. Okay. See, I had to step outside. There we go. Look at Tony. Tony, you girls are fixing your hair. Looks fine, <laughs> boy. Your hair looks fine. <laughs> No, look at this. It's all fucked up. Look at it. It's kind of <laughs> fucked up. Oh my gosh. Um. Okay. So we just got fourteen hundred, y'all. This is dope. This is dope. All this Wi-Fi is.